Seven years it was, ta. Seven years we didn't talk. And it might have gone on forever. Zomusawa Zomusawa Dreaming again. You okay? Josie's on the phone. Josie? What's wrong with you here? Do you know that the time it is here? Joe? Give it there, all right. What does that mean? Can't I operate or something? Josie. No treatment. In this day and age? She should bloody never have moved there. All right? Should have stayed here when we came from Malta. She loves LA. 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 Oh, bloody LA. I bet you saw that pollution. All right? I saw it on a program. Smoke everywhere. Not like here, ta. Huh? Bloody paradise, Australia. Paradise. Well, it could be worse. Why do you always have to look on the bright side? How can bloody anything be worse? I mean, at least you get to see her before it's too late. Huh? That's not bloody constellation. Constellation. What? Of course, don't worry. I have it in a safe place. He's not my brother. Never complained, huh? I didn't even know she was sick. Like a blood rock. We haven't seen her since your brother's wedding. He's not my brother. Oh, this thing with Charlie? It's ridiculous. 
It's beyond ridiculous. And if your sister dying isn't a wake-up call for you to fix it, then you're more stupid and stubborn than I thought. <laughs> you know, I would have crash-tackled you too if you gave a speech like that. I was only telling the truth. You were telling a drunken perception of the truth. <sighs> Love. What? Sit down. What? I know you're not one for apologies. But Josie's going to need her brothers back during this. And you're going to need each other too. Yeah. It's time. Years, love. But when I do, it's Qantas. Qantas it is. All right. I call no Nick Georgie first thing on the morning. He always looks after me, though. He doesn't even charge commission. When you call him no Nick Georgie? That's his name. He doesn't have a neck. OK. Well, you don't need to call him, because I can book it now without commission. How? Oh. I'm online. Well, I'm off the bloody line, all right? Well, it's safe. <laughs> the internet is safe these days. You're brainwashed, Ibni. Cash is king, even more than Elvis. Mm. All right, <laughs> maybe not more than Elvis. Just let me take care of the flights. You need to be with Josie. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Who's going to look after everything here? <sighs> Poor Josie. I can't believe this is happening. It's a bloody tragedy. Does Charlie fly Qantas too?
huh? <laughs> Oh my God, I feel like we're family already. Josie talks about her brothers all the time. <laughs> it's not, not my brother. brother. Oh, <laughs> good one. Yeah, funny. <laughs> Who the bloody hell are you? I'm Marlene. Oh, I didn't even introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Josie's neighbor. I'm just here taking care of little Roxy while mommy's away, yes. God, I'm glad you guys made it here so quickly. That flight was a long one. Oh, you bloody don't even know it. Mm. I didn't sleep a wink. Oh. All right. The bloody man snoring, the kids kicking. Or I, I, I hate flying. Hmm. You must be Joe. I thought so. Well, listen, at least the cab drive wasn't so bad, right? I mean, traffic can be terrible around mm. here. God. <laughs> Poor Josie, you know. We have been neighbors for such a long time. So sad. It's very sad. sad. Where is she here? Well, uh, they transferred her to a private hospital just yesterday. Nobody bled her told us that. Well, I'm sure she just didn't want you to worry. Don't worry, she's only in San Jose. St. Joseph. No, no. San Jose. That means St. Joseph. No, it does not. What? I don't know. How far is San Jose? San Jose is six hours north from here. Oh, no, my, my, I get... Josie left her car right in the back. She said you could take it. All right. Well, now that that's done, you're going to take this. What are you doing? Eh? Roxy's biscuits are by her water, and there's a piece of paper what on the piano doing? with the address and the telephone number to the Where hospital. Where are you going? I'm late for work. <laughs> you can't leave it with us. Oh, of course I can. Besides, you're family. You can get through anything together when you're family. I feel like you're my family. <laughs> boop, boop. OK, I'll see you guys later. Oh, Josie wants you both to give her a call as soon as you arrive, so figure that out. Who's bloody going to pay for petrol? favorite. Marlene said we need to call Josie. Who the bloody hell is Marlene? The neighbor. Oh, well, Mella, say the neighbor. We're going to call or not? We'll call her. From the landline? Oh, Mella, the mobile? Ha Shay Shane. We'll call her on the way. From where? A bloody phone. What do you think? you will be lucky to find one these days. Everyone's got a bloody mobile. Then we'd see her when we get there. Ha, a bloody six hours drive. I've never driven that far in my life. Because motor's only an hour to get around it. Not if you bloody walk. Come here, Rox. Good dog. What the bloody hell are you doing? Uh, we can't leave her here. Why not? She needs to run around. She can bloody run around here. And what about food and water? Here? I saw it before. Here, huh? Roxy, right. You bladder work it out. I am Muru. That's not right. It's a bladder dog. This is Josie's dog. I didn't fly all the way around the bloody world to look after a dog, all right? Halfway. 
It felt like Lordy White. She can sit in the back. Well, I'll do what you want. Not picking up the shit. Joe's sixty three valiant, two twenty five slant six. Bloody good mode here. Go oh, for it. It's no Mustang, but it's nice. It's very nice. I like the color too. Classic. All right, give me the keys, Ali. We go. Who says you drive? I'm the bloody eldest. So what? So I bloody drive. You haven't even slept. I'm still the eldest. Where are you going? Bloody flooded it. What are you doing, man? The case. I don't have to, but I'll give you a chance to win. Heads or tails? Tails. That's interference. With what? It hit the car more. Heads again. I'm still the eldest. I am. I'm the eldest. What? Put it in the back. All right, which way? <sighs> north, she said. I know she said north. Which way is north? Menafsh. See if she has a bloody map. Bingo. Ah, oh, beautiful. Everyone uses the GPS these days. Oh, that GPS. Are we in the army? We never had a bloody GPS. We did all right. A few bloody wrong turns here and there, but that's how you learn. My physio says it's not good to keep it in your pocket. Oh, that physio. Do you know they're not even bloody real doctors? What do you mean? It's all a bloody racket. I saw it on a program. I could be a physio. Don't know about that. Joel the physio. It even has a good blood of sound, huh? That would suck them in. When your back says no, call Joel the physio. What, you don't use them? Not anymore. Come back for this, come back for that. Make your next appointment. I want to see you in a week, and I never blood a finish. It's true. Not because of the physio, because I decided. Where did you get that? It's Josie's. It was Mother's first. She gave it to her. So it's Josie's. Why have you got it? She thought she lost it at my wedding. <laughs> Josie told me not to forget it. It's a family heirloom. Sentimental. Why didn't she ask me? I'm the eldest. Because I had it. And you're not very approachable, I guess. Not approachable? I'm the bloody eldest! Lab? She wants to sit in the front. I don't bloody give a rat's ass what she wants. She's a bloody dog, she sits in the back, all right? Malak.
I'm not moving. You're unbelievable. Happy? There's nothing to be happy about. Oh, oh Roxy! Roxy. I, uh... And the Josie must have let her sit in the front. Well, I'm not Josephine. I didn't say you're Josephine. I'm saying that's why she's so happy here. Look at there. She won't be happy when we have a bloody accident. Who's going to have an accident? The bloody dog's not driving. I'm not doing this the whole way. You want me to sit in the back? Are you are on the wrong bloody side. You're on the wrong side. We're in America. of an angel. It's true. Alright. Follow it. Roxy, hold on. Alright. Yeah, I can't tell. Now, do is it straight here or right? You can't tell here. Hold on. Uh, you've got to tell me. Right. Roxy, hold on. Roxy, straight watch it. Right. You go straight? Straight or right? No, straight. You said it was bloody right before. They're right on the 101, right there. I told and you not to be right, 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 right over here. here. All right, drive it to all your bloody wants now. Where is the bloody hell he going, Roxy? Just give it a moment. Criminal! My blood the first car didn't cost that much. Do I want to go to this party tonight? Um, no, because that girl smells like... Oh, damn you. You're bloody crazy. Excuse me, hey. Whoa, killer wheels, man. Thank you. What year is this? 63. Nice. Can I ask you a favor? Yeah. Can I use the phone? Oh. I just have to call my sister. Oh, yeah. Won't be long. One minute. Okay, don't be long, because I don't have much credit on here. I, I won't have, be long. I don't I have much, there's not much credit. No, I won't be long. Yeah, have a look at the car or something. Look at that car. This is pretty nice. Cool lights. Hello, Riverview. Josephine Couchy, please. Surname again. Couchy. C for Charlie, A for Alfie, U for Umbrella, C for Charlie. One moment, please. Hello? Josie, all right? Joe, you made it. Oh, my God. Are you in pain? Is everything all right? I'm fine. It's Charlie with you. You didn't bladder tell me you were six hours away. They brought me here. Where's Charlie? He's here. Was Marlin home? Did she give you the key? Did you take my car? What about the doctor? Yeah, I don't know what at the bloody time. Josie? Josie! But then let me talk with her. What do you think I'm doing? I, just, I want to talk with her. I'm Give me the phone. Talking with her. Give me the phone. Oh, hey! What? Put the phone between you. I hold it. I'm the eldest. Better hold it. What do you think I'm bloody doing? Put it here. All right. 
Josie, you all right? Oh, my bloody ears. Hey, oh, are you in pain? No, I'm fine. I love Roxy. She's beautiful. She's bloody ugly. Cute, but ugly. Oh, Roxy, Smith. I miss her too. Did you bring the Bronx, Charlie? I've got a Josie. Thanks. Jobs, do me a favor here. Ooh. Lady, can you ask him to bring you here? It's going to be much easier for everybody. They won't do it! Well, I'm not driving across California on the wrong side of the bloody road with a smell of dog and a bloody deal! You finished? What can we do, Jos? They want to keep me here, but I'm not dying in the hospital. How can we help? You're going to break me out of here. I've planned an escape. Meet me outside the hospital by the big tree at 6 p.m. sharp. And don't be late, because I only will have... Jailbreak. Sorry, mate. It's okay. It's good luck with your sister. Right, here we go. I love her spirit, dog. Even in the face of death, she goes her own way. Like Frank Sinatra. Yeah, she has the right to do whatever she bloody wants. I wouldn't want to die in a hospital either. Do you think that will make us an accomplice? If we're lucky. This is very exciting. It's just like a bloody movie. Like the great escape. Uh, what's the other one? I like it. Um, Starlag 17. Papillon. Cool hand look. East of Eden. It's not the bloody escape movie. That was a very good movie. Very good movie. Casablanca. Citizen Kane. Abedin Costello in Hollywood. Abedin Costello made the mummy. Abedin Costello in the Foreign Legion. Abedin Costello made the Invisible Man. I don't know why she called her off set up. It's not a very masculine name. That's because she's a girl. Looks like a boy. Ah, she looks like old men, but she's a little girl. She's a very good dog, dog. Yeah, yes. No barking. No, just fart. Ah, she's a dog. What are you going to do? End the pool. You have to bloody pick it up these days. Of course. I don't like the concept. What concept? Picking it up. How the dog's got to go? I know that it has to go. I don't mind that it goes. I mind that we have to pick it up. What about when it goes in your backyard? No, then you pick it up. Ali, it's inside and outside. Bloody, what happened in the old days? No one used to bloody pick it up. I don't know about that. Look, I love dogs, all right? We always had dogs in back home, remember? But on the farm, we never bloody picked up the poop. They used to go away, man, to do their bloody business. Come back smiling, happy, more civilized, just like us. Civilized, we used to step in it all the time. Don't ruin the memories. And then you take her to the vet. I don't go to the vet. What do you mean you don't go to the vet? I don't go to the vet. I don't believe in it. When the dog gets sick, you take it to the vet. No, you don't. Well, what do you do? Oh, they start with something and they won't let her stop. Duh. You take him in for one thing to fix and they come out with something else blood or broken. All right? I don't like vets. And they always make you feel bad too if you don't do it. Duh. Do you know anybody vets? No. I know mechanics. Ali, well, it's like a car. If the car broke it, take it to the mechanic. Let me tell you something about bladder canines, mate. Right? All right? I'll give you a tip. Joe's tip. All right? Tip number one. When the dog is six weeks old, take it to the vet. You just said you don't take it to the vet. And bladder finish. All right? You take the dog to the vet, six weeks old, for the vaccine, all right? After that, never step in there again. You're bloody mad, man. Ever! Tip number two. With dogs, you either get a good one or you get a lemon. All right? If you get a lemon, ah, oh, you get a lemon. What can you do? It's a bloody dud. Nothing the vet can do to fix a dud, all right? And you save $10,000, all right? But I still love it the same. It's still a good boy or a good girl. You're a very good girl, Roxy. Looks like a good boy. Either way, don't take her to the vet.
I heard she's having a baby, mate. 15 years old. Oh, they're all having them young these days. What, 15? I'll lean on the 14. Oh, that's different. Well, what's different? A baby 14, then 15, 16, 17, have a break 18. Ah, and then she have twins. She was married, wasn't she? Oh, I don't believe what you believe, all right? I don't go to church anymore. Not a okay. job? Oh, I'm not going to this again. Not a hot He's watching oh. now. He's don't say it in the car. Looking at yeah, nothing. I tell you what, it's very bloody nice scenery, da. Not like Hollywood. Oh, bloody Hollywood. There's no more Hollywood. They don't make them like they used to, da. No, superheroes now. That's what the people want. The people are bloody stupid. Ali, that's what the money is. Well, I'm not gonna spend my money to bloody see a poser in a car, too. Well, I don't think they need your money, mate. Oh, you want to see a real superhero? Go watch John Wayne. Or Charlie Bronson. He was uh, even Clint Eastwood, da. The early ones. Of course, I've got them all. On VHS? On Melody VD. We're having a bloody good run, da. How long to go? Ah, it says like 250 miles, so what's that? About 400 kilometers. It's not even midday. What time do we have to meet Joseph? Six o'clock, sharp, she said. No problem, mate. I don't like leaving her in the car, Ta. Well, you can't bring a bloody dog in a restaurant. It's a dining. It's still food. But it, look at all these pies. There's chocolate cream pie, cherry pie, pecan pie. And the coffee is free refill. Free. I believe it when I bloody see it. Well, it says it right here. Nothing free. in this world is free. Good morning, gentlemen. My name's Tori. I'll be your waitress today. What can I get for you? Hello, lovey. I'm going to have the House of Pie ultimate breakfast combo, please. Can I ask you a question? The coffee is free refill? That's right. And will you be having the pancakes or waffles? No, the House of Pie breakfast, the three eggs, two bacon, sausage, ham, hash brown, and toast. Yes, sir. But it also comes with your choice of three buttermilk pancakes or a golden Belgian waffle. It comes with three pancakes or one waffle. What's your choice? Same price. I take the three pancakes. I've never heard your accent before. Where are you guys from? We're Maltese. Oh, the Maldives? I've always wanted to go there. Maltese? From Malta? Don't they bloody teach you anything at school? Uh, that's... A lot of passion you have there. They used to call me the Maltese lover. No, they did it. Well, they could have. But they did it. Well, they could have, and I didn't know it. And what can I get for you? Just a coffee for me. But Joe, you have to eat something. At least have a piece of pie. I only eat what I grow. At least on a diet now. I'm not on a bloody diet. Oh, you're paleo. I'm Joe, Mush Paulo. No paleo, it's a diet. I'm not on a bloody diet. I'll get you that coffee. Thank you very much. It's very nice. What are you doing? Oh, I don't have to be rude. I wasn't rude. You were yelling at her. She said I was on a diet. So bloody what? I'm not on a bloody diet. Well, you're on something, mate. What do you mean? Hey, Santa Maria. What are you writing? Doesn't matter. Where did you go? The cook. He's throwing out all the bread. I showed him how to make pudding there. Never waste the tea. That's right. What's pudina? Pudina. It's bread pudding. Back home, we cook it what we bloody had. It's best with tea or coffee. What's in it? Ah, it's just some leftover bread and some bloody raisins. I like to put a bit of cocoa. Brown sugar, cinnamon, and some orange. The right. All right? A little bit of chocolate, too, if you have it. But you don't need it. It sounds yummy. It's very bloody nice, all right? And you tell him to give you some, all right? Yeah, well. Thank you. She's bloody good way she's done. Very good. Yes. 
I'll, I think I'll go check on her, Tom. Eat your food before it gets cold. Oh, taste the pancakes. I'm not tasting them. Well, smell them. I'm not tasting them and I'm not smelling them. Well, I do what you want. I want to get back on the road. Back on the, we just got here. Sit down, relax. Relax, relax. The word of today, bloody relax. I don't relax. All right? What happened to the early worm gets the bird? He didn't relax, did he? That's why he got the blood of bird. More coffee, gentlemen? Hey, what? Alleria. You let it know? I'm waiting for you. Oh. Thank you. Another coffee? We've had six cups. It's still bloody free? Yes, sir. Maybe just one more. For the road. I'll get those coffees to go. Who will? I don't know. Plus tax and tip. I bloody told you it wasn't free. Coffees to go. Just take away. Take away. Take Thank away. you. Excuse me, love. Does the tip here go to everybody or just you? This is for you. Don't share it, all right? You're very good. And I left the bloody cooker recipe tip already. Priceless. Okay, thanks, guys. Hey, <laughs> Hamura. Did you get out from my side? Why would I get out from your side? The bloody door's not locked. Well, maybe you didn't lock it properly. I'm not stupid. I didn't say you were stupid. But the lucky Roxy didn't get out. Come on, Roxy. Good gear. Good gear. What's that? Uh, pretzel. Where'd you get them? I got them from the aeroplane. You said you only ate what you grow. Unless it's free. Even on the bloody girls now. What? That those. Boys, girls, what's the difference? Oh, come on. Only bloody bikies get tattoos. That's not true anymore. No, really bloody nearly now. I might get one. What? I might get a tattoo. Why would you bloody do that to yourself? Self-expression. All right, the bloody poem is <laughs> self-expression. I think some of them look very nice. Hey, we're well, waiting until you're bloody fat, old and ugly. All right. I'm going to live fast and die young. I don't like James D. Jim Morrison. I don't wish you Vallis. Remember him, Da? He had the one. Oh, down here. Oh, down here. I had the girl. Down here was the night. Bum, bum, bum. Since she left me, I never made the same. Because I, I love, love my, my girl. girl. Don't know where can you be? Good girl, Roxy. That's bloody music. You know how to talk to Oh, Roxy, not again. Another one! Very good, Roxy. She needs to fiddle. Come on, Roxy. Come on. Good girl, Roxy. Good girl, Roxy. Where's the... Have you got the brooch? I've got it. All right, we call the police. What the hell are they gonna do? We need to meet Josie at six. If your bloody had stayed in the car, this never would have happened. You shouldn't have left the keys in the ignition. I thought you took them. Why would I take them? Because you got out of the bloody car last. Where did you go anyway? I had the piddle. So did Roxy. Oh, some things, blood, I never change. What's that supposed to mean? 
Nothing. Well, just tell me. Tell me. We could never rely on you. Who's we? Me and Pop. What's Pop got to do with it? Don't bladder push it, Ibni. Well, don't talk in bloody riddles. Say what you want to say. The ladder. All right, the ladder. The ladder? I was five. It wasn't supposed to die. All right, not like that. You were bloody daydreaming. He shouldn't have put his safety in the hands of a five-year-old. Anyway, you were there. Why didn't you hold it? Because he asked you. You couldn't help? Oh, tell yourself whatever you have to. It's easy for you. He took you everywhere with him, all right? Never took me anywhere, neither did you. We always went together. As a family, with Mummy and Josie. I helped him, all right? He bled her a light on me. He was the strong one, the favorite, the eldest. What do you want, Chad? You're just like him. Good. Blame everyone but yourself. If I was to blame, I would. Have you ever been to blame? No. Where were you when I needed my big brother? I beat up all those bloody kids that picked on you in school. I never asked. That's the bloody thanks I get. You picked on them because you're a bully yourself. All right? You liked it, you enjoyed it. Made you feel good. Don't let anyone push you around. You pushed them around first. They don't know what you're talking about. I needed a big brother, not a bodyguard. Well, you got me. Yeah, not by choice. Where's Roxy? I don't hey, brother Roxy. know. Roxy. Roxy. Hey, Rox. She could be anywhere by now. They dream me. Again. You were looking after her, not me. She was standing right in front of both of us. Oh, if you shouldn't have gotten out of the bloody car. If you blame me again for losing the car, you're going to regret it, all right? <laughs> Is that right? You're going to make me regret it. Where are you going? Roxy. All right, Mella, go! Go! Roxy. Yeah, Roxy. 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 Come on, Roxy. Roxy. Rox. Come on, Roxy. 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 Come on, Roxy. 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 Give me the damn brooch. Please, it's my sister's. She's only got three weeks to... Hey! Who are you? Oh. Oh. <coughs> Give it back to my brother. <coughs> Everything. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Apologize to him. I'm sorry. All right, get oh, out of here, hot or mock, before I bloody lose my temper. Who the hell are those guys? That's the Maltese power. Say it. Say what? You didn't ask for my help. I wasn't going to say that. Mello, what you going to say? That you called me your brother.
I should have been holding the ladder. What? With Po. I should have been holding the ladder. I blamed you. All the years, I blamed you. We were kids. Just kids. But I was the big brother. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. I'm sorry, child. I'm very sorry. In the wedding. I was drunk, all right? There's no excuse. But, child, I don't think she was good for you, all right? Someone who will be there through the blood of hard times. And I don't know what you have to get there. No. Only the couple can know. There you are. All right. But let me say something, all right? If a woman doesn't make you a better man, if she pisses on your blood of fire, instead of putting timber to make the big fire, then you need to piss her off. Hiya, Hamuru. Where are we going to go? We have to find Roxy. We pray to St. Anthony. Aye. What? <sighs> Dear St. Anthony, please, please, come around. Something we lost it and cannot be found. Lovely. Roxy! Hello, <laughs> Roxy! You believe now, Thomas? How long to go? 150 miles. That's two and a half hours. We're not going to make it. We bloody make it. Don't worry, mate. I'm going to show you the bloody driving that made me famous in 67. Sky Electrics. It was a bloody race, wasn't it? In slot cards. Oh, just bloody hold on. This is the address. I can't see here. We're bloody too late. Only a few minutes. I told you it was left back there. It felt like a right. It's on the map. Oh. Where's the tree? What tree? She's supposed to be standing by a big tree. There's bloody trees everywhere in a big tree. Check the address again. Hello, you think I'm stupid? Did I call you stupid? I, I can hear it through your teeth. What, am I a bloody transvilliquist? A what? With the, the puppet. A ventriloquist. Oh, that's what I blood said. Josie! There she is. Josie, here you are. Josie! Josie!
This is amazing. It's beautiful. I thought we'd miss you, Ta. We're running a little bit behind. Only a few minutes. Oof. I knew eventually you either get here or you kill each other. You said you planned the escape for six sharp. Oh, Nadel, come, Ta. I could have left any time. What? What about the matron? Osh, matron. That was my lane. Who the bloody hell is my lane? The neighbor. Oh, Mela say the neighbor. You set us up. Set up what? Everything. Oh, no. You know what we've been through today? No, but I would love to hear about it. You don't play jokes like that. Well, nothing else was working. Well, I tried everything. And I hate flying. You're crazy. Oh, that one in the jeans. You have the brooch. Big one. Perfect. I'm the eldest. I should have brought it, all right? I didn't know you two were talking for the past seven years. Oh, it's a family heirloom. Osh, family heirloom! I want to sell it to buy another classic. And I already have a buyer. Oh. You hurt your back, Joe. Le I called the physio. Uh, no physio. Oof. Charlie finally woke up, ta. And the letter he was writing in his notebook, a love letter I found out. Well, that become a breakup letter. So Josie gave him a little something to help him through it. Good girl, Roxy. Roxy! Good girl, Roxy. Good dog. Hey, oh, Rox. Good girl. All right, Rox. All right. Oh. Too late, this, sir. I was going to do it. When? After bloody day is gone. It's bloody 7 a.m. <sighs> Bella Cafe? There you go. Hmm. Roxy, are you cool? Good girl, Roxy. What a bloody John Collins. What? New chairs, is, sir. I got them on sale. Nothing's a sale if you don't need it. Cam. Ten dollars for both. That is a bloody sale. Why, my Did you speak to Josie yesterday? Here you are. She's still coming for Christmas. Her turn to fly, yes, sir. One year age now. That's right. Don't get too comfortable. You need a new wife, is sir. Oh. What about Rita to Percy? She got married last year. Oh, you missed your bloody chance. Claudia. To Gianni. Never married. Lots of money in the family, though. She's bloody ugly, hairy. She smells like Menestra. Oi, hey. You're not bloody old painting either, you know. Oh, thank you. Who do you think you are? Gregory Peck? Hmm. Humphrey Bogart. Or the other one they like now. Kifli I do with the bloody wrinkle. 
Oh. Tony Loney. George Clooney. Ab the heart of this. Do you think that's Rosemary Clooney's son? Huh? Only her son, Rosemary Clooney. Clooney? Only Clooney, 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 the Clooney! I don't bloody know. Oh. We don't get to choose our family. Maybe that's a good thing, though. But we're connected by blood. And those connections, they're worth fighting for. Life's not perfect. It's not supposed to be. But it's always better with family. Sacred, special, crazy family. Oh, Roxy!